Yo, what's up guys? Apple Designer back with another video. So yeah, our battery health from our iPhones is really important. It's actually one of the main things we're always worried about. So in iOS 15, we had a way to see the exact battery cycle count. Unfortunately, in iOS 16, Apple removed this, but I actually found a way to still get it. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can see your battery cycle count on your iPhone in iOS 6. Make sure to watch the whole video and if you liked it, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. All right, let's dive into the video. I think we all agree that our iPhone's battery health is one of the most important features. If you go into settings, you can go to battery and in here you can go to your battery health and you can see the percentage of your iPhone's battery health. 100% of course is a great percentage. Around 80% you should start to worry a little bit, but there's one really important metric we cannot find that easy and that is the way to see the exact battery cycle count of your iPhone. But before we can find the battery cycle count within our iPhone settings we need to download this shortcut called battery cycle count and battery health checker. I'll put the link of this shortcut in the description below. Okay so yeah the first step is obviously to get the shortcut and just simply add the shortcut to your list of shortcuts. I already installed it. I'm going to replace the one I already have. And as you can see, it's just added to the gallery. But before we can make this shortcut actually work, we need to tap on the three dots here and then scroll down and go to the design capacity section. We need to change this number to the exact design capacity of this specific iPhone model. So yeah, as you can see here, I have an iPhone 14 Pro, so I need to find the design capacity of my iPhone 14 Pro. I have this website, which I will link in the description below, where you can find every design capacity of every iPhone. I'm going to the list and then scroll down. And here I can find my iPhone 14 Pro. And we need to have a look at this last column showing the MAH, which is the battery capacity. And we need to copy this. Okay, so in my case, it's 3200. We copy this number and then we go back to the shortcut and paste our iPhone 14 Pro's battery capacity. Save our changes by hitting done. And now the shortcut is ready to be used. Okay, so now head over to settings, scroll down and go to privacy and security. In here, again, we need to scroll down and go to analytics and improvements and we go to analytics data. However, what's really important before we do this is that you need to have share iPhone and watch analytics turned on for at least two days. So when you've done that, go to analytics data, scroll down and try to find your most recent analytics file. Now you'll see this weird looking text file. Don't worry, we have our shortcut ready. Tap the share icon in the top right and open up the shortcut we just created. The shortcut will now go through the specific text file and try to find the battery cycle count. This may take a little while, but eventually after a couple of seconds, you'll get this pop up and you can see the exact cycle count of your iPhone, which in my case, as you can see is 23, which is really good. The higher the cycle count number on an iPhone, iPhone is the worse the battery is more cycles just means that the iPhone has been charged more often so here's how you can find your iPhone's battery cycle count in iOS 16 make sure to give me a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon